Welcome back to Instruments of Destruction, which has just received another update that added some new parts. So you're probably wondering what this monstrosity is that I've built here. Well, basically, this thing is designed to showcase all of the new parts. Let me explain. Let me explain what's going on here. Just give me a chance to explain, okay? So the highlight of this update, in my opinion, are these two things right here. We've got an X8 rifle right here, which shoots bullets. And then we've got a Gauss gun, which shoots explosive bullets. And we're definitely going to be pushing these to the extremes in just a minute here. But first, we've also got... Uh, the suspension arm, the suspension swivel, and the suspension socket. So these three pieces are all new additions to this update, which is exactly why I've built this contraption right here. Because in order to appreciate what these things are designed for, you basically got to add some weight onto them. So when I spawn in here, watch what happens. There we go. So this is the, uh, the suspension arm, I believe. So basically what these things are doing is just uh, giving you a certain degree of flex to different directions of movement. So the suspension arm obviously flexes in this kind of rotation right here. Uh, the suspension swivel, you can see as we move, you can see the suspension flexing in the, the swivel rotation. And then you get the suspension joint here. Wait, was it called suspension joint or suspension socket? The suspension socket, as you can see, um, it's a socket. It'll flex in all directions about that axis. So I can see that being useful on parts of your creation that you don't really want to be super, super rigid, but you also don't want them to have like controls, like an actual pivot or a swivel or something. So that could add to some realism for some things, depending on what type of build you want. All right, so let's just, let's get rid of this whole thing. Now for the main attraction, the guns. I was gonna say, maybe guns aren't the most appropriate demolition equipment, but then again, this game has laser Lasers. It's got bomb launchers. It's got vortexes and turbine vacuums. We've moved well past the realism of construction equipment long ago, which means these things fit perfectly here. So the fun thing about these is they actually have a decent amount of control. You can control the firing mode from single shot to automatic to burst. You can control how fast it fires, a delay between when it starts firing, and of course the, uh, the strength. So let's just start with our standard one strength and single shot, regular fire rates, all the standard settings, just so we can see what the default settings of these weapons are. By the way, new island as well. I wish the sun was over on this side though. The buildings are all in a shadow. Let's go ahead and use this building right here. I'm gonna use the right side for the regular gun and the left side for the explosive ammo gun and we can see the difference. All right, so we broke some glass. That's good. What about the left side? Okay, you can see a little bit more difference. Now remember, this is just uh, strength number one. Oh boy. All right, what about both at the same time here? Okay, yeah, you definitely, you can definitely feel the difference between these two. So this is just single shot mode with a firing, firing rate of one. So let's bump it up now. Let's go full auto, maximum fire rate on both of them. We're not gonna tune, we're not gonna make them stronger just yet though. Just wanna see what full auto feels like. Here we go. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. A little bit more auto, to be honest. So I just gotta hold the button now and this is what we get. All right, you know what? I should probably convert these things into actual turrets so I can like aim up and down and stuff. There we go, that's better. All right, so this is full auto on that side. Interesting, so the full auto, even though, are the, are the settings are still the same, right? Oh, it increased the refire rate up to 3.0. So this is actually the slowest that I think they'll fire. All right, well, let's crank the refire rate down to the minimum. So this should be the fastest that these things are capable of firing. Here we go. Whoops. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Are they firing at different rates still? Oh, I like this. There's actually a difference between their um, how these things operate. So the one that fires regular bullets is capable of much faster fire rate than the one that fires explosive rounds. Here, let's aim up a little bit. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. All right, here, let's aim this one up at that building up there. See how it feels. All right. Oh man, that destruction looks epic. All right, let's try this one now. Okay, so that was actually only strength one. Now I wanna bump it up to maximum strength, but I also wanna have a comparison uh, of just regular strength so we can see the difference. So I'm gonna add an overdrive to these at maximum strength. So we're gonna get like the true maximum strength here. All right, so here's our control shot, regular strength on the X8 rifle. 
All right, that did some decent damage. And here is our maximum strength shot. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure, hold on. Oh, the strength might not actually be damage necessarily as much as bullet speed. Cause look at the difference here. Yeah, look at that difference. Okay, do they actually fire at a different rate? Huh, I don't think they actually fire at a different road. There's a, I, didn't, I just realized there's a cool bridge over there that we can destroy. Oh, look at that. Okay. Whoops, that's the wrong gun. I just realized they also have a bit of a bullet spread as well. That's interesting. All right, so I can't tell if there's much of a difference between the damage output of these, but there is a pretty big difference in how immediately your target gets engaged with the bullets. So then if I turn the strength way down on this one, I wanna see how slow this bullet can go. All right, tune strength down to 0 0.1. <laughs> how long is it gonna take to get all the way over there? I mean, it is really hard for me to determine if there's much of a difference in the uh, destructive capabilities. All right, well, let's test it out on the explosive ammo now. So here's strength one. All right, and then here is maximum strength. Yeah, it also does appear to be a... Uh... Oh, is it a fire rate thing too? No, the fire rate isn't different, but it does change. It definitely does seem to change how many bullets you're gonna get down range, how fast. Yes. Look at the recoil. I am not moving backward. I'm not trying to move backwards right now. Okay, so now, now that we've uh, tested everything out, it is time to build a wall of expl- I'm gonna go with the explosive ones. Or should I go with these ones? I don't- I'm gonna go with the explosive ones, because you know they're just gonna do more damage. I'm gonna try to build a wall of 100 overdriven, max strength, explosive bullet goss guns, and see what kind of destruction we can rain down on this thing. Okay, here is 10 by 10 square, which gives me exactly 100 attachment points, which I can then, oh boy, that's not what I wanna do. I can then attach 100 of these overdrives now. Oh, this is actually kind of satisfying. Yeah, this is satisfying. There we go. All right, there's, look at all those overdrives. All right, so now we have to go to the Goss gun and I wish I could set like a default that every single one I, I spawn after this will be um, automatic, minimum refire rate, maximum strength. I gotta do that on all 100 of these. Well, I guess technically 50 since I have mirror mode on. Okay, I think I've done it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that looks cool. So uh, this is probably gonna have way more recoil than I'm prepared to deal with. I'm probably gonna have to put some attachment blocks, but you know, I think I can fix this. Ready? <laughs> oh no. Wait, isn't there a button to flip vehicle? There we go. I don't, I keep forgetting that this is a thing. I can't even use it. <laughs> Come on. Wait, 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 here, I gotta, I gotta move. There we go, gotta move my center back. Oh no. There we go, wait, no, oh come on, come on. What are you doing? There we are. Oh, this thing is behaving so weird. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to see what this thing does yet. All right, you know what? I should probably move this in my center, oh no. Oh no, oh, I, I messed that up. I should probably move this into my center of mass. Or actually, more towards the back is gonna be even better because it has so much weight to the front of it. All right, give me these attachment blocks. All right, can I attach to the ground? There we go, now, oh! Whoops, <laughs> I didn't even get to see it in action. Oh, I just took out the base of that. Oh my god. Even with the attachment, this is ridiculous. Even with the attachment blocks, it's still, the recoil is so much that it is still keeping me, oh my goodness, there's no middle of this building right now. All right, well I gotta do this and then aim down. Cause this is my new zero point for aiming. 
The only thing is now I can't aim left and right while I have the attach blocks on. So maybe I should, maybe I should add that into the controls. All right, so I gotta go to Structure Zoo 1 here. It's so much easier to see. Uh, whoa, whoops, that was the wrong button. That was definitely the wrong button. It's a lot easier to see what's going on with these buildings. The lighting's much better on this island. All right, you ready to see this building disappear? And just like that. Wait, how is... Wait. Did you see that? We were totally hitting that. And it wasn't receiving damage? What? Look at this, though. This is amazing. Okay, you know, I gotta turn tough structures on. Let's go into the settings. Tough structures on. Let's turn structure collapses off. I want to have, like, I want to be able to chisel these things with my 100 gun wall here. I want to see what it's like to deal with the toughest opponents. Oh, that's really satisfying. Those, like, explosion, little explosion circles, spheres. That's really cool. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Leave it up to Instruments of Destruction to always leave you satisfied. All right, let's get this. See, look at that. There's something with the top of this building that isn't right. What is going on here? Why is the top of this building weird? Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Were some of them not registering or something? Well, anyway, look at how clean. Look at how clean that is of a division right there. All right, I gotta try it on. Let's try it with this glass building over to the left. All right, there we go. Oh, I kind of went a little bit more centered on it than I meant to, but let's just roll with it. Oh no, the whole thing is gonna collapse, isn't it? Yeah, the whole thing's disappearing behind all the bullets. Do I even want to know what somebody who edits the files of these to be strength 10,000? Do I even want to know what that's going to be like? All right, we got the biggest building over here. Let's set our sights on this one, see what's going to happen. Can I just go through the middle of it and keep it uh, intact on the sides? Almost. I think our, uh, rad our firing radius is a little bit too wide. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, you know what? There's one thing I just kind of have to try out now. I want to replace... It's going to be tedious. I want to replace all these guns with the X8 rifle because I want to see what a much, much higher fire rate but with less explosive bullets is going to feel like. I think I did it. Hopefully I didn't miss any of the settings, but uh, we should be good to go. Let's see what the recoil is like on this thing for now. Let's not even look at the destruction yet. Here we go. All right, well, that's one shot. Oh my god. It's so much, it's so many projectiles that you can hear it slow down. You can hear it slow down the game as it goes. Look at, listen to that. I'm not even doing destruction yet. Let's take aim and see how it compares to the Goss guns. You know, when you have this many projectiles at maximum speed going, you really... <laughs> does it really matter whether or not they're explosives? Okay, I want to try the half building method again. All right, here we go. We were a little bit more than half, but I also, you also got to account for these things have a bullet spread as well. But overall, I mean, you can see the bullet spread happening. Wait. Oh. I I think some projectiles disappear sometimes. Like, they might not register if you have too many. Oh, because they start off so dense. But it did seem like as it went on... Yeah, see, that seems much less dense now, doesn't it? It's like there are some that aren't making it. Look, there's like a hole in the middle. Or some, no, maybe that's just the debris. No, there's a hole in the middle. Look, these ones aren't making it pad. They're disappearing right here. Oh. Now if I restart. All right. Yeah, there must be a uh, like a, pro a projectile limitation or something that the game won't render past a certain point. Okay, I tried to give myself a swivel so I could aim left and right, but the problem is it's weakened the uh, the power arm so much. 
<laughs> that it literally cannot handle the recoil at all. It cannot handle this. I just wanted to sweep left and right through the uh, buildings, but I can't use my tank treads for that because I need to be attached to the ground because there's so much recoil, which means you could probably build flying vehicles with these weapons. And I fully intend to do that in coming episodes. So make sure you're subscribed so you do not miss those experiments. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.